basically my story is uh, I work for a company called 21st Century Insurance. They sell auto insurance. I was doing administrative uh, assistance duties and uh, they were bought out by AIG, American International Group, about two years ago. Ever since then they've been laying off uh, in layers and we basically had two headquarters so they only need one headquarters. So at this point, by December of this year, they'll have laid off that entire headquarters that was located in Woodland Hills, California. I have been with the company for 15 years. I was one of the lucky few that did get a severance package, so that helped sustain me, but currently I'm on my second phase of unemployment, which is due to run out in December. I'm desperately looking for work. I, I, I have 20 years experience doing administrative clerical. Uh, I've worked with many different computer systems. I, I am bilingual, Spanish and English. I also uh, type 55 words per minute with no errors. I'm very good at database management. Uh, I've worked at eight line switch board, which included uh, covering calls for the CEO, as well as uh, vice president executives for uh, different uh, branches, such as uh, customer care and uh, claims and also for actuarial. I also have uh, extensive uh, communication skills uh, for customer service, which I do deal with clients directly, handle uh, a lot of the filing that goes on database electronic information and also as well as uh, physical files that I maintain and, and I order supplies. I'm very willing and eager to work. I'm willing to get into uh, an entry-level position. Right now, I'm focusing more on healthcare administration uh, for the hospitals and uh, long-term care. I did study, I almost had my BS degree in uh, healthcare administration at uh, California State University, Northridge. I, I lack about six classes that I have to finish. And um, I'd like to, get into a new career, so I am applying for those positions, a lot of the hospital jobs. A lot of it is done on the websites, so uh, sometimes I get responses. I do go on several interviews. I also uh, don't get a lot of responses, and when I do, once in a while, they say that we found a suitable candidate, you know, a better qualified candidate. So it is frustrating, because a lot of it is done on websites and computers, and you don't get that one-on-one. -on -one, uh, contact like back when I used to interview 20 years ago. I, I try to network. I think that's the only way that you can really get a job these days is who you know. And uh, I try to go through family members and uh, roommates and, and, and my church that I belong to. I, I just try different sources to network because I really feel like you, you really know, have to know someone on the inside track in order to get a job these days. Uh, and pretty much uh, I haven't given up. I, I did take some time off a uh, couple weeks. I went to Costa Rica for vacation just because it's been a year since I've been unemployed and I wanted to get like a recharge of my batteries. And it was a great experience because I found out, you know, there's a lot of jobs available, uh, selling timeshares, doing office clerical administration down there. Uh, and the people are very friendly and it's very bio uh, economical environment. A lot of people drive electric cars. and. I heard they also have no army there. The people are just very pleasant and, uh, and it's very well controlled uh, government there that uh, the people are just very free and happy. And it's very uh, stark <laughs> in comparison when I come back to Los Angeles. And it, you know, it's just people are really desperate here. It's a lot of unemployment. It's just gone going higher, you know, and uh, you can start seeing the frustration. I keep my spirits up by. Uh, like keeping uh, having a close network of friends, uh, I do a lot of exercise. You know, with the gym, swim. I take long walks. Uh, I also, you know, I do have my faith. I do a lot of uh, spiritual activities. You know, for the church and uh, volunteer and participate in events for the for that. Uh, so that keeps my spirits pretty well rounded. Here, I do volunteer. I'm getting a award for volunteer of the year. Uh, this October 21st. Uh, I volunteer at the Volunteer Centers of Los Angeles and they have a drunk driving program they do that's court mandated and uh, the clients can get uh, time taken off their sentence by participating. 
And so what I do is I do office administrative statistical work for them. I uh, do a lot of data entry and filing and uh, answer phones. And I've been doing that for about a year now. So I really enjoy doing that. And, uh, and it really keeps my skills uh, honed in, you know, so I don't lose your skills. That's one thing, you sit around and you're not practicing your typing and your Spanish or whatever, uh, you're going to start losing it. So it's always good to volunteer. Is there anything I didn't ask you that you'd like to say? Uh, well, I just really appreciate the support of that, and also for what you're doing, because you are opening, opening the eyes of people who might not have known what all that is involved, especially if they do have jobs and how difficult it is to find another job. So if you do have a job, I would say just hold on to it and do whatever you can to maintain it. But my email is joseph.wells, that's J-O-S-E-P-H dot wells, W-E-L-L-S, at ymail.com. That's ymail.com. So if people want to contact you from this video, that's where they should do it? They can contact me email. I also have a mobile cell phone number, which I don't mind giving out, which is 818-770-6534. Once again, my name is Joseph Ryan Wells, and my contact information is uh, cell phone 818-770-6534. I'm an excellent administrative office assistant. I do database management, data entry. I know Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Access. Uh, I do accountability, inventory, purchasing, word processing, uh, transcription. I type 55 words per minute. I do filing, faxing, and photocopying, and 10 key by touch, about 7,600 strokes, and I'm bilingual in Spanish and English.